is this little amount that you pay every month called PMI or mortgage insurance. It's this one little line item that's on a mortgage that shows up that can range anywhere from $150 to $300 a month that you pay. Some folks don't ask a whole lot of questions about it. They just assume it's a part of their mortgage. But it's just something very similar to what you pay on your car. It's a type of insurance to just give the uh, the uh, entity that say you purchased a car from the dealership or GMAC, VW Credit, whoever it is, that if something happens to the car, it's covered. It's in that same way mortgage insurance function. And so when I we did an audit of our home ownership program, this kept popping up mortgage insurance. I was like, what, what is that thing that keeps coming up? And it was this thing called mortgage insurance. Now when you look at it, it's something you pay generally from 10 to 15 years. So you do the math, 300 a month, 12 months a year for 15 years. It's a whole lot of money. And you don't get it back. It doesn't reduce your mortgage. It's just money in the pocket of, a, of an MI company, a mortgage insurance company, just to make sure for those 10 to 15 years when you get your mortgage at a place where the bank feels comfortable that they don't need insurance anymore, and then it goes away. Well, who is that fair to? Who's getting wealthy off of that? It's not you. It's the mortgage insurance company. Not to say they're bad people, but they're wonderful partners working with us on it, and part of the reason why we're here today. So with that, with up to $10,000 we'll get, we'll cover this thing called mortgage insurance. We'll pay the premium up front, knock it out, and then you'll have that $150 to $300 for yourself. Part of what this is going to teach you is not to go to, mall, to the mall with that extra $150, not to get a new car with that $150 to $300, or go out and buy some you know, new Jordans for your son, for your daughter, or whatever, but to really begin to do things and inform you about things and educate you about things, about what it really means to build wealth. That a CD is not just something you buy at the music store. It's something that can help you build wealth. IRAs and 401ks and money market accounts. Some of that language gets a little confusing and difficult to, difficult to understand and intimidating, but this particular strategy is going to help you understand what all that means. All of us like money, don't we? Come on now, there's nothing wrong. It's not to say you love it. I didn't say you love it. We like to be able to have things, because it's not just about today. For those of you who do have children, it's about building wealth and leaving something for your children and your children's children. Not to just buy a house and leave them with a mortgage, to begin to do things and set things in motion that's going to change your life for generations to come. So uh, I wish you the best. I encourage you to talk with Rosa, talk with Eunice, ask all the questions you can. We have Carol DeRosa here from Chapel. We have folks here from our banking partners. Ask the questions our real estate partners who know about this particular strategy. It's going to change things for you. It's not just about home by education and credit counseling. It's beyond getting the home. It's what's next. A lot of us don't visit our banks after we purchase a house. This is about building that bridge and creating a partnership between you and your bank that they provide more to you than just that mortgage that they lend to you when you purchase a home. That when your child wants to go to college, you can walk in there, or you want to go to college and have funds and credit extended to you or loan dollars extended to you. Begin to save those extra five, 10, 15, 20 dollars that you have sitting around and not put it in a jar or under your mattress or keep it in your wallet. But let it make money for you. And that's what this is going to teach you about beyond purchasing a home. So I'm glad to see all of you here. If any of you know someone else who's interested in purchasing a home, not quite sure, I encourage you to take all that you take here, get here and bring it back. Because you, you want to make sure everyone knows about this. So good luck and best wishes to you. I want to thank Alvin for those. Uh, we just wanted to let you know that in prior neighborhood, with the MI Home Power Initiative is here to assist you in any way that we can. And what that will do, uh, what programs, there are several different programs that the bank offers, chapel offers, that you don't have the MI insurance. And if you don't have that on a mortgage that you apply for, that money can use, be used towards down payment and closing costs. And that's a good thing. And what we've done, we've partnered with the bank so that when, when you purchase your house, you'll be able to go and say, well, I need a check in the Okay, this time I wanted to introduce uh, Carol Rosa. She's from uh, Connecticut Housing Finance Authority, Chapel. She 
is a residential mortgage program community and program development and marketing person. <laughs> Let um, my power go there. I've been uh, in the mortgage banking business for over 30 years. And I just want to echo what, when I look out in this room, I know that you're going to be successful. Because the fact that you're here on a beautiful night like tonight that is proves that you have interest in that long ago that I wanted to buy my own house, that it's a very exciting time in your life. It could be a very scary time in your life. And the words of advice that I have for you is to do exactly what you're doing. Ask questions. Make sure you understand what you're getting into. Ask again if you don't understand because we in the business can use all types of terms. Um, we pick up as many brochures as we can. Uh, if you have a computer access, go on to websites, and I'll talk a little bit about the CHPA in a minute. But the better, the more knowledge you have, the better prepared and the better decision you make. And I'll use myself as an example. I'm over 50. I didn't buy my first house until I was past 40. And I would drive by, I wanted a house so bad, I would drive by this same building that I said my sister, fix it up, I could really make that a home. But what happened is your emotions sometimes of wanting a house right now interfere with what makes sense. So have a plan, the fact that you have empowered you even here, they are an impressive organization who feels and understands what you're going through. You have bankers here who understand and know and can be helpful to you. You take advantage of that system and the knowledge that is there. I'm going to talk a little bit about CSFA programs, but I really kind of wanted to talk from the heart first because I've been there, it's exciting, but take it slow and make the right decision. When I bought my first house, I didn't have programs like this. I didn't have a lot of money for down payment assistance. I was very lucky. I had a father who gave me a gift of down payment assistance. I bought a house, I walked into the house, once the furniture was gone, I went, mm -hmm. I brought it up. I called the furnace man to have it fixed. He came to me and he said, Mrs. DeRosa, we will not fix your furnace because it is in danger. You need a new furnace. No, I made a mistake. He didn't have the house inspected. And I was in the business. So you, your emotions sometimes with wanting a house will want you to make decisions quickly. Now the good news is a lot has changed since I got my mortgage. I have worked for the Connecticut Housing Finance Authority of, of those 30 years that I've been working, 10 of them have been with CHFA. The good news about CHFA is we have been in business since 1969 and we were created specifically by our state government to say, help people get affordable loans. And what do we mean about that? The difference is Talk about Rosa and the lady who had the 14% mortgage rate. Today, CHFA's mortgage rate is 5.625%. Now it changes weekly, but it's been as low as 5%. It's also been higher. That will depend on when you get your loan. It's still a very attractive rate because we price below the market. We were created to help people get homes. We do that with 30 year fixed rate terms. You have to live in a house. 
for the life of the world. So if it's for CHFA, you're going to have to be able to sell the house. You can lose finance if you'd like to. But you need to, you're not, you can't, and you can buy a condo, you can buy a one family, you can buy a two family, you can buy up to a four unit, live in one, and rent out the others. That's okay. Last two speaking about the do explain about the Yeah, let me uh, try, to, try to do that. I'm not familiar with all the programs. Um, when, when you get a, uh, a first mortgage and you're using the MI Home Power Law, and we talk about well, this, this term, and I'm going to mention this a long way, this term of you need mortgage insurance, and then you also mentioned, mentioned well, what about hazard insurance? Hazard insurance covers the cost of if you have a fire, if something happens to your house. Mortgage insurance is really something that the lender requires. So CHFA says, if you don't have enough assets to make a down payment of 20% of the purchase price, we consider that loan a higher risk. And because of that, we're going to require you to pay mortgage insurance. The good news is that with the MI uh, Home Power Program to empower the payment of the lenders, that is eliminated. With CHFA, we are going to provide you with a 30-year fixed rate mortgage. We can also provide you with, and this is where it means sitting down with a counselor, with Rosa, with one of the lenders, and doing this individual. It's very hard to do it in a group setting. Um, and I'll also give you my phone number, um, where you say, all right, how can I maximize what I, what I, what I need? I can use a, get a CHFA first mortgage, I can get the MI loan, I can get down payment assistance and closing cost assistance from CHFA. I'm not familiar with the program that you're um, talking about. I don't know whether I'm going to If you, uh, if you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, give you my card, and what I'll do is I will call you individually. I'll do some research on that when I get back, and then I'll talk to you directly on that. I don't know the answer to that. Um, Yes, we do. We have over 80 lenders we work with. Yes, they are. And then the um, Okay, you, you, so the rest of the people are, we hope you're staying and you give uh, a length of time to take a stay in the home. Okay. I will I look into that when I'll call you. We can, we can talk about that. Um, there, I guess the point I'd like to make is that this is a very individual experience and that you really need to, uh, I know that the program involves counseling and meeting with someone. Um, if you have poor credit or bad credit right now, don't be discouraged. Um, there, you, you can just need to get you on the path to resolving those credit issues. It may not happen within the next month or the next two months, but there is assistance out there. Um, I would say that CHFA, I would um, doubt that any program, that there is any program in the state uh, that can be CHFA's rate. And if you find one, I will invite you to tell me about it. Um, because we are in the business of helping people get their homes. We are, we are uh, not a profit organization. We are an organization that takes any, um, when we make loans and people pay us back, we put those right back into programs. So uh, we, are, we, are a company, we are a company with a mission, and that's helped to increase home ownership. Um, what I would suggest to do, just because of the interest of time, and I actually have to go to uh, give you my direct phone line.
So if you have questions, you can call me uh, on the chapter program. And it is, um, there's two ways to get a hold of you. Let's see if I can remember the toll free number. It's 1-800-533-7444. Eight six zero five seven one four three seven four. That line rings right in my office, and I pick up my own line. I have one question. So don't get discouraged. It doesn't happen overnight. You're, the good news is you're in a housing market right now where the prices are starting to come down a little bit. So the buyers got a little bit more. You know, a couple months ago we wouldn't be saying that. The prices would be going up. We would get pressure from a real estate agent saying, get it because somebody else is going to grab it. It's a different environment now. And I can stay up here forever because this gets me excited. So I'm going to just say, you have my phone number. Um, I'd like to swim by and, and get more phone numbers so I can follow up on that. And if any of you have any questions and want to have a more lengthy conversation, um, this is the part of the job that I love. So thank you.